This here is the Philips MRX cardiac monitor currently found on all Queen's Hot Cellar ambulances. This uh, tutorial will help you teach you how to send a 12 lead to telemetry or the hot receiving hospital at any time. Basically, you're going to have your monitor in 12 lead mode and you're going to acquire your 12 lead. Start acquire and you're going to put in the patient's age and gender and then it'll take your 12 lead. Okay. Wiring the 12 lead, analyzing, and then we'll be printing. And it's printing your 12 lead. I'm going to stop it here. Okay, now at this point you're going to go on treating your patient or whatever it is you're going to be doing. At, and at some point you're going to be ready to transmit your 12 lead to whoever you want to transmit it. So you're going to go into menu, you're going to go to send, you're going to select a destination. At this point we have Manhasset, Queen's Test. Dr. Plowis, New York Hospital, Queens, LIJ, Methodist for Medical Control, Jamaica. At this point, we're going to go to Queens Test. We're going to choose the device we wish to use. At this point, we're going to go with Q79. And once we do that, that's all you should have to do. The machine will tell you to connect the device. That will take about 10 seconds, maybe a little less. Okay, then it'll say dialing, after which we'll say connecting to network, connecting to server, and then it'll start sending. Once it finishes sending, it will say sending complete and disconnecting, which should take, there we go, confirming, disconnecting, and it'll take about another 10 seconds to disconnect, then you're all done. Okay, finished. Now let's say you exited 12 lead mode, you're continuing regular patient monitoring, and now you decide you want to send it again, or send a different point, or send it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Go back to 12 lead mode, back to menu. You're going to select down to reports. The report that's in the monitor is the one we just took now. As you can see, 1542. The time up here is 1544, just two minutes ago. You find the 12 lead you wish to send, and you click on it. What do you wish to do with it? At this point, you wish to send it. Again, pick the destination, Queen's Test. We're going to choose this point, Q79, as our mobile phone, which on the ambulances, when they're there, you'll find a phone in the pocket of the monitor. Basically looks like this, the Verizon Barrage. You'll most likely have a little hook on the top and that hook will be attached to a coil and actually fastened into the side of the monitor. Okay, um, when you to use these phones you turn them on by pressing the power button and this will take about uh, three seconds or so, maybe five seconds to actually boot up. Once the phone is booted up, that's all you got to do and you'll be able to connect via Bluetooth. The reason why well, during this tutorial I'm not using these phones is because there's still one feature that Verizon has forgotten to turn on and as yet they will not work until probably tomorrow night or tonight, hopefully tomorrow. But that's basically where we're holding with these. Once it's on, you'll be able to connect with Bluetooth. On the phone itself, you'll find a little sticker somewhere. They're not been put on yet because I have to figure out which is going to go on which phone, but basically you'll see a little sticker across the phone somewhere that will tell you which monitor it belongs to. This one here says Q01. Okay. And that will be the monitor that you will find in over here. Q01, Q01. Make those match up. Like I said, this point using Q79. Again, we're going to collect Q79. It'll be connected to the device. Once it connects to the device, which will take a few seconds, it will then say dialing, then connecting to network, and then connecting to server, connect to network, connect to server, and then it'll start sending. There it goes, it is sending. One is complete, it'll say sending complete, verifying, and we go, standing by, confirming, standing by, disconnecting. Once it's disconnected, again with the bus phones, all you gotta do is turn it off to save the battery power for the next call. And we're all good to go. Your 12 it is wherever you wish to send it. At any point you have any questions, feel free to contact me.